Before this video starts, man, I just want to give a quick shout out to my guys over at Team Zen. They have been hooking me up. This is a organization that I have joined a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago. We have just started up a Zen World RP. This is a very fun server to play on. It's semi-serious. Semi so if you guys want to join, that's where I'll be. All right, just follow them at, at Team Zen 3 on Twitter. And let's get around to this, man. Let's go. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Clamps back with another video, man. All right, this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the save wizard event files glitch in NBA 2K21. All right, so as you can see here, I got the gold rush arm sleeve, the gold rush jersey, and also the gold rush leg sleeves. But you do not have to pick this exact outfit. I also have another outfit, my other outfit it is the gold rush suit and the basketball gods hat all right so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this done and show you guys how to get multiple files not just these two files right here all right so before i get into this video man make sure you guys like subscribe and turn post notification on for more bangers like this man and let's get right into this tutorial let's go all right to start off the glitch the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a usb device and also a pc or computer it does not matter but you do need a computer that has the internet and a USB device. And also you will need save wizard for this, which is kind of easy to get. You can have your friends give you a code or you can just buy it yourself like I did. But that's up to you. But I'm going to show sure you guys how to do it with everything that I just told you guys. So first thing you need to do is take your USB, plug it right into your PlayStation like usual. All right. Then you need to go up here to settings go into application save data management right here go to saves data and system storage go to copy the usb storage device all right they need to find nba 2k21 which will be right here click on only the user data you do not need anything else only the user data it, it won't be here every time it'll be like maybe like right here so do not worry about that just make sure that you have the user data and just copy it to your USB device okay now once that is done copying I will need to switch over to my PC which I will do right now all right so unplug your USB and plug it right into your computer all right plug it into your computer now what you're gonna need to do is bring up your save wizard all right you do need the save wizard to be able to do this. So here's my save wizard right here. All right. Now let me uh, get that all good. Press OK. Get signed into it. All right. Now you need to go to resign right here. And if you do not have your account made on here, you will have to put on your account, which is very simple. You just go to profile manager and add a profile. It will look up. It'll look like this just add one simple as that all right but i already have mine so once you have this popped up you just need to bring it down all right it will have your psn or whatever you named your thing right there so you just need to click on it right click and just press delete save just like that press yes all right now you shouldn't have anything here and that is very good now now what you need to do is you need to go into google and type in xdg mods okay xdg mods just like this okay it will bring up this it should be the first one xggmods.com click that all right link will be in the description from below for that all right so in this it does have multiple games that you can use save wizard on but for right now i'm just gonna be doing 2k21 so you just need to go to nba 2k just go to nba 2k21 event files right here and now from here it's all up to you on which files you want to use so I'm gonna be just choosing anyone random so I can get that right there. Protect the house. I'm not gonna do that one though. There's all these nice files, new files. They just added a lot of these files like a few days ago. All right, so you can get all these files right here. Simple as that. Any of them. This is the one I just had on, okay. Um, I'm going to go with, for this video, I'm gonna be going with this one right here, okay. 
I'm just gonna download it. It should be this one right here. Free download. Then you're just gonna download it. Make sure it has a zip right here. If it does not have zip, do not download it, okay? But everyone on there should have zip. Just press download, all right? Don't just exit out of whatever pops up. Then in the bottom, it will bring up your downloads, all right? Once it's downloaded, what you need to do is just exit out of that, go back to your save wizard, okay? And right up here, you need to click import. Press import, it will bring up this screen right here. Choose your file, mine's right there. Open, click it down, click it on it, and then just press import. Make sure that you have it on the right account, okay? IQ Clamps, that's my account, apply, all right? Now we'll bring up this right here. It will be uploading, so just wait for that to get done, all right? Then it will bring up another screen here in just a second, once that is done, I'll wait for that. Takes a few seconds. All right, now once it is done, it will bring up this screen right here. Just press delete the original save and just press OK. Now, all you have to do is unplug your USB, all right, and just plug it right back into your PlayStation. Simple as that. Now, once you're back on your PlayStation, all right, what you need to do is go back, go to save data. Okay, we're, we're in settings again. Go to application save data management, all right. Save data on USB storage this time. Simple as that. All right. Copy the system storage. It will just be your user data, same as we just took off. Copy. Okay. Do not press apply to all. Just press yes. Okay. Now, now that that is done, what you need to do is go back onto your computer, or you could have did this before. You need to go on Google. Okay. Just look up NBA 2K.com. All right, that's all you need to look up. Just click on NBA 2K. What you need to do is you need to sign in with your Xbox, PlayStation, whatever. But right now, I am using my PlayStation. So I just need to log into it real quick. Okay, just remove all accounts. That's all you got to do. Just remove all accounts. So make sure there is no accounts here. Simple as that. Now, you need to go back to your PlayStation. And now we are done with your PC. You no longer need your PC. Now it's just up to your PlayStation, okay? So, we go back to the main menu and just click on NBA 2K21, just start it up, very simple. I'm telling you guys, once you guys do this once, it will be very simple and easy. You will know exactly what you're doing after that. Today was the first day I figured out how to do it on NBA 2K21. I've been doing this a lot on 2K20, but today I actually figured out how to figure it out on 2K21. That's why I'm making this video. So hope you guys find this helpful like I did, all right? Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, you know the usual stuff, alright? Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. If you guys need help with this, just let me know in the comment section, I will help you out. Alright, now, once you're in the main menu, you will have this connect button and you will have to connect, okay? So what you need to do here is you need to connect, alright? You need to use the email that you have, okay? Don't just use some random email, otherwise this probably will not work very well. So just put in a random date, obviously, it doesn't matter. Make sure it is under 2000. I usually go with like 1990. Okay, accept, accept, I agree. So now you just need to put in your email address real quick. All right, now that you're done with that, just press continue. You'll be back at the home screen just like usual. Okay, now, this part is the part that everyone struggles on. So you gotta be careful with this one. So what you need to do first, go to the main menu on your PlayStation, go up to settings right up here, click on network, and just hover over test internet connection, okay? To make sure that this is going to work, what you need to do is double tap the PlayStation button, and it should bring you right back into the game. Press it again. Make sure that you're on test connect, 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 connection, my bad, my bad. All right, so 
do it again get back in okay so now I'm gonna have to click on glass cleaning finisher it honestly doesn't matter what build you choose but once the ball at the bottom right of the screen it's 96% you will need to double click and test internet connection just like this okay watch this before you do it okay watch I'm gonna click on glass cleaning finisher at the bottom right the ball is spinning okay once it hits 96% I will double click okay once it's 96 I will test into that connection all right it hit 96% just continue 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 once it's net type you can just back out it doesn't matter go back into 2k21 now once you get back in you should get this error code if you do not get this error code you will have to retry but it is very simple if you do need to retry just press ok if you do not get that message all you need to do it will send you back to the home menu just do it again at 96 percent until you get that error message in the park and it will take you back to the home screen right now and give you another error message okay so do not worry about that all right see we just got another error message you just gotta press okay simple as that all right now as easy as this you just gotta go click on any player load into the park and you will be set you will be set you will have your files that you did create so just wait until you see this and there you guys go there you guys go as you can tell i have my shirt off and i'm only an all-star too so that's how you that's how you know that i did this glitch okay and i have not gotten the pants for the basketball gods or this neck piece thing but hopefully you guys find this helpful man make sure you guys like subscribe and turn post notification for more bangers like this man and another thing is you will have another outfit okay so now i got the gold rush nothing too special all right you can, change, you can change your clothes but once you take off like if i was to take off the pants i will not be able to get them back so if you do not want the clothes just take them off you won't be able to have them back until you do the glitch again but that is all that i have honestly that's all i got i'm not sure if that's a shirt thing that i got on my neck but i'm not gonna mess with it it's kind of cool but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. It's IQ Clamps. Let me know in the comment section if you need some help with anything during this process. And I will see you guys later. Peace.